What's going on everyone? Today I'm going to show you my 1984 Chevy K5 that I just picked up right there. And uh, it's actually pretty clean for what it is. It's got a bunch of title issues and that's one of the reasons I got it. So let's go over it. All right, so this is a 1984 Chevy K5 Blazer. This was originally a fire station like service truck. Um, and it had orange paint on it. And I'll see if I can find a spot where it hasn't been repainted white. But pretty clean old unit. Somebody took the, the bull bar off the back or off the front, but I ended up getting it so I can put it back on. You see there's a couple of the flashy lights from back in the day. This truck has been sitting for quite a while. If you look at the plate right there, last registered in 2005. It's just been sitting. Supposedly they got it running quite a few times, but the title issues kept anyone from ever actually driving it. Needs some cleanup, but uh, seats are in remarkably good condition. Everything's there. It's not too too messed with. It's got some hokey fixes on it, but I think the worst. If, let's see if we can get up good. Let's see. A little too bright out here, but headliner's pretty wasted. It looks like it was leaking right there. Luckily in Arizona, we don't ever get rain. So this, uh, this particular Blazer has 373 gears and quite a few options. Air conditioning, cruise control. All right, now to some of the hokiness. Someone has lost the bracket for the radiator and they have some zip ties holding it in. It's got the wrong fan shroud. Uh, battery cables have been replaced with top post cables that are the wrong length. Wrong color. Jack is missing. Um, air cleaner is missing a few pieces. Somebody put chrome valve covers on it, which probably leak because they're chrome. But if you look right here, the original option sticker is intact, which is pretty amazing. So you can see down there the dual shock package. All in all, pretty clean old rig. Unfortunately, somebody has changed the wheels. They took the factory rally wheels off and put these chrome wagon wheels on it. But that was the thing to do back in the day. This carpet will clean up really well. There's no actual tears in it or anything. Uh, glove box needs the, the lock replaced. Those always broke. But, pretty decent old rig. It's unfortunate, but the, there was a wing that goes right here. Those are missing. But it does have the slider. Wing is missing on this side too, so I'm guessing somebody just took them off. Or they broke. Got a roof rack on the top. See, it had a bunch of stuff mounted up there. This right here is the only rust on the entire thing. Easy enough to fix. Probably just going to get it running and driving. Um, it turns over pretty good. I haven't actually got it running yet. I do have a, a battery in it. Oh, oh yeah, put the keys in. There we go. There's like eight foot of microphone cord in my pocket. That was the issue. All right. Oh, 
look at that. Even got oil pressure. Cranking over like one of the cylinders was a little low on compression though. Ooh, smell the bad gas. Yuck. I do need to clean the gas out of it. Uh, somebody has put a Edelbrock remanufactured uh, Quadrajet on it, which I haven't seen one of those in a long time. Um, it's under that air cleaner right there. There's some general hokiness like with this AC line, like look at that stuff. I'll get that cleaned up and the next owner can figure out what they really want to do with it, but making it run and drive is probably the best way to sell it. I'll probably do a little bit of work on that uh, on that sunroof. Maybe put a new one in. Not sure. You can tell that it leaked and somebody tried to repair it with RTV or something. It, the rubber's probably just toast. These were universal. Uh, I think the company actually still makes them, but dealerships used to add these in back in the day. So you see it's had some holes and there's a little bit of rust bubbling around it. Matter of fact, need some repair. I might be able to get another roof off of a, off of a truck or a blazer and just uh, weld a whole new roof on this thing. I don't know, we'll see. You can still see the number right there. This was unit 647. By the way, this is a, uh, unless the motor has been changed, this is a uh, 305 truck, 305 and uh, I believe a 700 R4. And I can't believe that, I can smell the fuel right now, it's disgusting. I can't believe the oil, the, the fuel pump still works. That is amazing. Let's see. I don't know if you guys can zoom in on that and see it. Silverado package, 31 gallon fuel tank, four speed auto trans. Yep, this has a 700R4 in it. Not too bad. Oh, one more thing I gotta fix. These springs always broke back in the day. No big deal. I leave the keys in it. Nope, probably put them back in my pocket with all the stuff that was in there. Oh, door key. Yep, might have to fix that sooner than later.